Hello everyone and welcome back to Sudesia! That was so exciting! Oh my gosh! I can't believe how much we learned and Kaff worked so hard and it was so much fun hiding in the beach house with Kaffers. We made so much seaweed soup and Kaff was just like bang 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 peck 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 and he was making all sorts of pipes and we kept jumping into the caves to gather more resources and now we have a totally amazing quarry! I'm gonna go have to take a peek at it later but we're leaving it alone so it can just do its own thing Really, we probably should build some boats or something so we can just like sort of boat out there But until then we're just leaving it alone and I am back here at our staff lounge I'm actually watching Iris today. I was asked to babysit and doggy sit. I think it's because Iris and Tate get along really well I think Iris and Tate might be good buddies So we're gonna see how that works out and meanwhile calf and calfers are off working on their different homes So that's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to see what kind of work they get done there But we use the lessons that we learned watching calf build that amazing quarry to good use so Without further ado, oh look at all these cute puppies. Hug, hug, hug. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys are cute. Okay, you guys stay here and play in the front yard, and I am going to show off what I have been working for the last couple hours on. Ooh. Well, first off, let's grab some of these delicious, delicious apples. Gracious, I really want to make an apple pie. Can you make apple pie? That's a good. That's a good question. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Golden apples, that's not what I want. Let's see, fruit salad, sapling, apple juice, apple sauce, apple pie, that's what I'm talking about. We might make an apple pie to reward ourselves. Okay, I have to back up. I have to back up for the grand, ah, the grand reveal. Do you see that? Do you see that little thing? This little thing is the deceptively small seed shed. So this is our little garden shed. It's adorable. It's nice and compact. It's into the mountainside. So you think, oh, it's just this teensy little place. I bet it has a couple chests in it. And when you open it up, it gets a little more complicated. Look, 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 look. Okay, so at first it's a little bit crowded. I tried to do as best I could, but all these pipes are kind of tricky. But because we built into a mountain, that was actually a smart move. A lot of the pipe systems are hidden, and oh my gosh, it took me a while to figure out how to make them. But now we have the pipe systems all worked out, so admire it. Admire the gorgeousness of our little shed. And I will show you how all of this works. So now we have our seed sorting chest. You guys remember how often we're out and about just wandering around and the next thing you know our entire inventory is totally full of seeds and it is, or like plants and everything and it's just ridiculous? Well, that's quite silly. So now what we have here is our seed sorting chest. All seeds and saplings that we collect will just get thrown in here and I mean all of them. All of the saplings we can find from the peach saplings to the typical birch, oak, spruce saplings. Your common seeds get thrown in here, your geishla seeds, even the cocoa beans I decided to throw in here. Sunflowers, mustard, leek, artichoke, all of the garden seeds just go in the seed sorting chest. And then this is the little switch that turns on our sorting system. There's a teensy little redstone engine hiding back there. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so used to all of us doing this. Oop, is that a bear or a boar? Oh, I can leave the boar alone. I'm used to us doing this all by hand, you know, and it takes a long time to sort things and find things. So I'm really proud that we're upgrading. We even have look, this little tool rack. Little tool rack. We have a little wrench and a little shovel and a little hoe and a little pair of shears. Now, when you sw flip the switch, like so, Come on, switch. There we go. It turns things on back there. So you can see the little engine moving up and down, up and down. Look, 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 you can see the little seeds. The little seed got down inside of the little tubes. Look at how cute they are. They're getting sucked out and they're gonna get shot over here and they're gonna go through the whole system. Now, in this very first chest, we're gonna have saplings and common seeds. So the Geishla greens are gonna go in here and we're gonna have the like, um, you know, there's nothing in there, but like the- Oh, hey! You're not supposed to go in there! Air! 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 What's going on? You are not among- you are not among the selected Fudge Knuckles! Oh, well that one went the right direction. But you didn't go the right direction. What's going on? Let's see. Green! Green, you're messing stuff up. I guess I need to fill in those spots so green doesn't mess anything up. Alright, let's pick this one. See, so green and black are messing things up on me. So we're going to add that and that, and hopefully everything else will be rejected. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's the kind of seed that's supposed to go through. Good. Good. How embarrassing. I thought I had all this working, and I was going to be all fancy pants and show it off. All right, we'll stick those guys back in. Still working the way it should? Yep, just a bunch of guys seeds coming through, but they're getting snagged. 
And they're supposed to be snagged by yellow. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Oh, good, good, good. And see, these garden seeds are starting to go where they belong. And so this is going to be the chest where all the garden seeds go into. And this will be the chest where all the miscellaneous garden supplies go. Right now, it's just got some buckets. But basically, anything that the first two filters didn't catch... Oh, look, there they go. Yay! Then we'll be caught in this chest so they don't just pop out of the pipes and then despawn on us. So I'm very excited. I'm so proud of all the hard work that I did to get this going. And I know it doesn't seem like much. It's just a seed sorting system. But this is the infant design. The itty bitty baby infant design for the eventual future network of plant sorting systems that we will have underlaying all of Zudesia. So all of those messy plants that we just have thrown into all the random chests, well, we'll have sorting stations kind of separated out. And then we will have the different sorting stations send the plants to different locations throughout the zoo depending on which greenhouse it's supposed to be. Like our cactus greenhouse over here, our wetlands greenhouse, our rose garden greenhouse, our perennial greenhouse. You know, we'll make it up. We'll figure it out and make it up. And then it'll just have the whole system sorted out nice and neat. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Let's see, so far seeds doing good. Yep, saplings are going where saplings are supposed to go. Good, good, good. That's right. All right, I don't see any any interlopers where they're not supposed to be. Okay. All right. And we are going to celebrate by planting a few of these seeds. So let me just clear some of this out. Any seeds? Geisha seeds? It's kind of boring. I don't want geisha seeds. We're going to plant some of the more exciting seeds once they pop out. Ooh, what's this? Chili pepper seed and a radish seed. There we go. See, that's exciting. Any more? Any more? Anybody else want to come out? Oh, what are you? Okra seed. Oh, and a garlic seed. There we go. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Boar. Please don't attack. There we go. See? And so now that we have all these new seeds, we just go get in there, guys. Shoo, shoo, shoo. There we go. Get in there. See? Just like that. <sighs> oh, I'm so content. And then it'll sort it all for us. And now everything, it's, it, everything will just be nice and tidy. And we can come in and put down the items like if we wanted all the oak saplings to go up here we can just do that and now all the future oak saplings will like fill up those two to, those two little slots oh gracious man i feel satisfied about that okay leave me alone boar leave me alone apparently they only attack when they're hungry but why would a boar attack you if it's hungry i mean i know they attack people but i really hope they don't eat people that often i've heard stories but still oh you know we could probably put a window in back here now Let's see, do I have any glass? I do! Let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's just go ahead and use up this axe, just like that. Oh look, and we can overlook our little flowers that way. I love it. And now we just have a little window. There we go. I love when things just come together like that. But yes, there's a couple more things that I want to do. I did discover something very interesting. So you guys remember when we had to fight off all of those evil penguins in the nether? Well, I kept a whole bunch of their skins in here, and it turns out that you can take their skin, like this, and surround it with sticks, and voila, you have an item frame, so I no longer have to kill innocent cows that I love so much. Let's see, actually, I want the sticks. We're going to keep the sticks. And so to celebrate our brand new little seed sorting shed, I'm going to do a little homage to Harvest Moon, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And we're going to put some turnips in there. A turnip seed, and then a turnip. Like so. Boink. And then we're going to take our little turnip and we're going to take our little turnip seed. Our little turnip's going to go right here. Our little turnip seed right here. Because you see, things start from the seed and they grow into the wonderful little turnip. Oh, that's just such a beautiful turnip. I love it. It's like a little heart with flowers on it or leaves on it. How are we doing over here? Seed sorting system is still a go. It doesn't sort the fastest because the redstone engine, the little pumpy thing down there that we turned on with a little switch, it only goes so fast. It takes out one item at a time instead of entire stacks. But I think that's better because the benefit of the redstone engine is it also doesn't explode. And I would like to leave this thing unsupervised now and then while we're doing work around the zoo so it can like help us out. And I would much rather things that don't explode rather than things that do explode. <sighs> So happy, so content. Let's see if any of the seeds have made it over here yet. Ooh, let's get some peas planted just to celebrate. Ooh, and some asparagus. Oh, I love asparagus. And then, let's see, let's just go ahead and take out garlic. And, hmm, what 
What do I feel like planting? Peaches? Oats? Mustard? Well, there goes the artichoke. All right, let's get some blueberries planted too. All right, that's a nice little start. And I hope that boar leaves us alone. Oh, it's time for a snooze real fast. And then we'll get our little garden started and it'll be so nice. Hang on, puppies. <sighs> ah, much better. All right, Oop, there's that boar again. Hmm, he better not mess with my garden. Oh, look at the little baby seeds. Look at the little baby seeds going to their little chest. Oh, I just feel so organized knowing that it's all going to just go where it belongs. And then we come in here and we want our little hoe. So like this, just like that. See, get our little hoe straight off of where it was on our little, our little tool rack. Everything's all organized. I love it. Now, if I can just keep my backpacks organized, that would be a miracle and quite nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. So where do we want to plant things? Really, I should probably take all of this out and then plant things over here too. Hmm. So I guess I need my little, my little shovel too. But don't worry, we are going to get back to the animals, guys. I know we haven't touched the animals in a long time. That's just because we've been learning how to use all of these different tools that are gonna help us to expand the zoo and make everything much more productive and practical. Out of here, out of here, little blocks. I'm gonna turn you into a beautiful kitchen garden. Out you go, guys. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I didn't mean to do that much. Oh well. All right. Oh, I got my little baby seeds in my pocket, and I know I get to plant them, and that makes me so happy. All right, let's clear these guys out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, and beautiful bird song. I can't wait to build an aviary. See, that's the benefit of all the hard work that Calf has done in order to get the quarry going. Soon we'll have enough resources where when I think, oh, I want to build a beautiful aviary and it's going to be made out of glass and things. But, you know, it takes forever to dig up with my own little two hands and all those blisters you get. All the sand that you need in order to build a big glass enclosure like that. Whoops, I didn't need to destroy those. I wasn't thinking. I was just talking. There we go. That's better. There we go. Fill this in. There's that. There's that. Whoopsie daisy. But now we can just go to the quarry and we can just go pick up. Oh, perfect. That was just right. Let's see. And then I want to do this tree a favor. Don't hit me, Mr. Boar, and I don't hit you. We can be buddies. Okay, let's see. One little oak wood, just like that. And we're gonna do this little tree a favor. And now you're one taller, Mr. Tree, just like that. All right, then back here at our kitchen garden. Right here. Whoopsie daisy! Of course I would flood the kitchen garden. Oh gracious. Let's just, let's just like, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to put the garden peas right here. And I kind of want to put the blueberries right here. I swear there's some sort of method to this madness. And then I've got two asparagus and one garlic. So let's go ahead and a little asparagus, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put the asparagus right here. And the garlic is very fragrant, so I don't think we want it too close to the other plant, so it'll just go right here. <laughs> yes, it doesn't look that great right now, but I promise this is the start of our itty bitty kitchen garden, and it'll grow and look great. I don't want that shrub. Let's see if we have any nice looking... Oh, don't, don't attack me. Don't attack me, sir. Let's see if we have any nice looking plants hiding somewhere in here. Oh, no, but we do have seeds. See, and now we can just go to our little chest and throw those in. Oh, hey, we've got some little toadstools. Hmm, that aluminium ore berry bush. I kind of want to decorate that near... I don't think we have enough to, like, decorate it around <laughs> our bunny exhibit, but I would love to do that for some reason. All right, let's just come over here. There's that boar. Okay, all the course is clear. Let's just come over here and... Whoop, are you all done? Oh, goodness! Well, here you go. Here's some more to do. Did it work? 
Everything's all sorted there. Everything's all sorted here. Ah, it worked just like that. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and put some sunflowers out too. And a little bit of okra. Ooh, and some cabbage. Oh man, I could totally get into this. Chili pepper, leek, cantaloupe. Oh man. Oh my gracious. <laughs> Hang in there, animals. I promise I'm coming there for you too. All right, let's put the sunflowers. Two, three. I'm going to need more water for them, actually. But you know what we can do? We'll take this out. And then we will take this puppy out. And then we will... Let's see. Put this here. And take this out for just a second. Oh, wait. This is not going to work at this exact location. Hmm. I don't think it will. Because that'll be a little bit awkward. <laughs> so never mind. That would actually cause a little bit of problems, but that's okay because the one right next to it... Mwahaha! Just like that. There. Oh wait, nope, that's even more problems. I'm trying to throw water right inside of the, the guest bedroom. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. What if I come over here? Is this gonna be chest? Nope, this, this'll do. This'll do. We can actually do something over here. That should be fine. Alright, let's back up. Where's my dirt? There's my dirt. Put my dirt down. There we go. Put my water down. And then, voila, that should keep this area nice and moist so that we can keep our sunflowers right here. So there, and the grass is spreading, so the grass is doing good. Good, good, good. Now, what else? Let's see. Cantaloupe, cabbage. Cabbage would be really cute over here, I think. So let's go ahead and put the cabbage right here. And then okra. Okra can go back here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing that we did. Where we come down in. Go. Hmm. Mm hmm. How to do this. Put that there. And then put that there. Put that there. Should keep that nice and moist so that we can put the okra. Wow, look at that! Man, the okra looks cool. I kind of want to put a cantaloupe right there, even though they should probably have more room. But that's okay, because this is Minecraft. Oh, look at our little garden get started. I'm so happy. Let's put the delphinium right there. And the lily right there. And this alumina, little alum al aluminum. There we go, aluminum, since that's how we pronounce it here bush I think can go I wonder if it'll grow like I don't think this thing grows hmm hmm maybe I'll put it here oh oh actually I don't think I can place it interesting okay so I actually can't do anything with that well I'll just hold on to it then <sighs> but there we go see and now we have our little garden started just like that and we're going to look at one more thing that's perfect for our little tool shed. Now we can turn this off because all of the little little seeds are sorted in the appropriate places. See, look at that. That makes life so much easier. <laughs> so, so, so much easier. See, and we can just say, put all the oak saplings up here, please. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. So, like, all the oak saplings will just go there. Oh, that's going to make... So we can sort within the chest is what I'm saying. We can line it up exactly where we want. Oh, that's so much better. All right. And the last thing that we are going to work on before we finish this up is that we do want to get to the rabbit exhibit. That's going to be our special for tomorrow. And some of the tools that Kaffers told me about we're going to want to use. For example, the carpenter's tools. I was telling her I really wanted to do this like stone fence, not a cobblestone fence, but a stone fence. And she said, oh, I know this trick. You just, because she's an amazing builder, you just use the carpenter's barrier. I'm like, but that just looks like a normal fence. And she says, not if you whack it with the carpenter's hammer, it doesn't. So we are going to build the carpenter's hammer and some carpenter's barriers and see what those do. So we need some iron. We need some carpenter's blocks to get carpenter's blocks. Looks like we just need sticks around a piece of wood. Like so. Do -do -do. Oh, look at that. Wow, you get a lot of them. All right, let's just grab a couple of those. And then we need some iron. 
That'll be inside. Oh man, I feel like our little seed shed is like the most deceptively productive tiny spot in the whole zoo. So productive, so organized. Let's see, do I have any... <laughs> the question is if I have any iron left after everything that we did over at the the quarry. I might have to go pop by the quarry just to see if we've got... Let's see, and now I need the hammer, please. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, look at that! I mean, look at that. Oh, fudge knuckles. Look at that, I don't have enough iron. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 we can make this work. I'm sure. I have a cat stuck in there still. Major Calhoun. I saw Captain Kaz around here a little bit ago. I don't know where on earth he decided to run off to. Ah, there we go. I knew we had more iron somewhere. All right, so let's get over here. And then we want to make a hammer. Carpenter's hammer, please. There we go. So now we have a carpenter's hammer. While we're at it, why don't we make a carpenter's chisel? I don't know what it does, but it can go in our tool rack, the extra tool rack I made. So there's that, and now we want carpenter's barrier, which looks like is just sticks with those. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab some stone and a snooze. Ah, oh, much better. Because we need to check on the bunnies. I could be counting bunnies in my sleep. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bunnies. Oh, hi guys! How's the puppies doing? Doing good? <laughs> I can't believe we're babysitting Iris. Bunny, 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 bunny. I'm pretty sure that they are breeding. I'm pretty sure we're having like a massive spread of bunnies. Alright, so let's test this out. So it looks like a typical fence. Now we're going to whack it. Oop, oop, oop. What's going on here? <gasps> that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, and then you take the item that you want it to look like. For example, if we want stone. And bada bada boom, look at that. So we are going to line our bunny exhibit with this stone. And it is going to look absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so cool. Ah, well, that was that was delightfully... Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That was delightfully productive. I am very, very happy with how that turned out. Oh, that was wonderful, doggies. And one day, this will be my little mushroom garden. One day. I think Kaffer's lit it up for me. <laughs> She's very good at helping light things up like that. See, we could even make this into a little slope. Or a little stairway, like using the carpenter stairs and turn it into like a little grass stair so we didn't have to keep jumping up and down it. That is fantastic. So here's our garden growing nice and beautifully. We have our wonderful working seed shed. And now that we have some of our major projects out of the way, figuring out how to get the quarry going for supplies, figuring out how to use the sorting system so that we can get our plants organized. Ah, now that that's finally done, we can get back on task by working with our little bunnies and getting their exhibit going. So I'm going to keep a little eye on what's growing here in my garden. This is so exciting that it's all growing. I'm so happy. And I'm going to gather up some supplies, make sure the land is smooth enough to work on, and then we will finally get down to business building that bunny exhibit. Whew. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.